Please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or Patreon to support the channel. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, and Yoshiko Bay for their amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulist and I, Where's UK mod. So yeah, uh, we're just going to keep on going from where we left off. I want to do as many quests as humanly possible right now, because we are a little bit behind, and as you guys know, I want to make sure that we get all four traders' quests all the way up to max. If we can do that, that will be damn awesome. Oh, I wonder if I shouldn't repair these. Yeah, they're low enough. This one I'm going to keep as is. Um, I need to use the breaching rounds first. And then the time charges. And obviously, if we want to open big doors, I'm going to go for the C4. The C4, guys, is if you want to break steel and the blocks around it. Because I think if I place it on this wall of here, it's going to wreck this whole place. And then I think it might even affect the structural integrity. That's how bad this thing is. Whoa, from there, I was like, whoa, only three minutes left, and it's still so much left. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to wait for that to finish as well. Um, I should probably make some more sand. Let's do... Uh, that's not enough, but for now, it should be. So that's 10. That's 14. Yeah, more or less the same. We can always scrap these as well, because we're not going to need cobble anymore. So I'm going to scrap cobble in this. It's 47 minutes. It's 14,000 stone. Damn. Okay, I'm going to make sure each of the uh, of these workbenches actually have one. I think you can also put your XP glasses on for this. It's not just crafting time. It's uh, scrapping, right? Technically, you're crafting it into stone, even though you're scrapping it. Okay, and then we have to turn this into sand. Instant. Wait, what? It shows zero timer. There you go. I was about to say, wait, what? Okay, uh, let's just put this away for now. The Mossberg should be done. I think I was making it over here, right? Boom. Ooh, okay, so let's see the damage this thing can do. We're going to compare it to this one. Now, which one's better? This one? Oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Uh, magazine size 7, magazine size... Oh, but that's a big thing. Look at that. Magazine size 31. I think during Horde Nights, obviously this one, magazine size, if you take the drum out. Let me just do this. Let's make it fair. So this one makes so make sure it's reloaded. You remember, guys, you have to make sure it has the same ammo in. Because, like, for example, if the one has uh, slugs in and the one has shotgun shells in, it's definitely going to do different damage. Look at this. This one has 15 shots. This one's so much better. Way, way better. Obviously, the um, magazine size is a massive, massive problem. But if on the Mossberg, you put this on, it's 15 slots. Obviously, it's half the shots you would have been able to fire. But it's, let me just quickly check this. It's about 40 damage, right? Uh, times 10, say it's 380 damage. 380 damage, 380, 380. Let me just quickly do this. That is 220 damage, so it's about 160 less think if i'm counting right 160 less but you're able to fire way more Ooh, this is a tough choice i think for now let, let's try the mosberg out um i might be really really seriously disappointed and then just uh, t use my other shotgun again but for now uh, let's test it out if it, if it works well why not at the moment i don't have the spa uh, spares shotgun uh, the one i actually want so we'll stick with this one and just see how well it actually works it actually looks like a proper pump shotgun. It's not an auto shotgun. Okay, uh, weapons. We'll just put this one in over here for now. Oh, lag. Lag, 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 lag. Okay, auto shotgun goes there. Gunman class. Oh, what gun must I make now? Gunman fully automatic rifle. Please tell me we have this recipe. Fully automatic, fully automatic. Um, we go over here. Fully. Wait, what? automatic wait i have no idea what gun this is wait what time to craft yourself a fully automatic rifle it's probably going to tell me when i have all the resources right so let me just quickly ah oh, wait 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 we should have some iron over here no we don't have any iron left damn and i don't want to go to the pump jacks because they're going to bug me out again so i need 150 i'm using all my coins now so i won't be able to Protect myself against the dangerous fall. I don't know. I might still be able to. I think it's only 10k I need, right? 
you need mechanical parts and then scrap polymers from this one. Uh, we need duct tape and springs from this one. Ooh, okay. Duct tape. Almost done. I need to make more uh, duct tape. At least we have a ton of glue, so it's not that much of a problem. M4 A1 carbine. I don't think we have that book. Please tell me we have it. Yes, for once. For once we have it. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. Now I don't have to worry. Guys, I wonder what we're going to get for completing the gun class. I hope the next gun that we have to make we can actually make without any issues. Okay, um, yeah, the pump jacks might be done. I think, let's go check in the pump jacks. If the sound bugs out again, we can just always restart quickly. Because I need way more iron. I need to make way more steel. I want to check, where do you see those perk books? I think it's over here, right? No, it's, that's map. Perk books. Um, where's the one that says from falling? Urban combat. It's not this one, right? Not wasteland treasures. Tech junkie. One of these actually makes you fall. If you if you have coin on you and you fall, you don't have to worry about too much damage. Great heist, journal, like a Ludo enforcer. Doesn't make sense that it's these. Off your own shoes. Night stalker. Never get encumbered at night. Ooh, that's nice. Sneak, XP, XP. I should actually really read these and see when I need to kill zombies the best. Shotgun. It has to say something about coins. Queens, 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 10,000 or something. Or 10k or 15k. Urban combat. Nah, it's not saying right now. I don't know if I'm just not looking right. Wasteland treasures. I don't know exactly. I might have missed it, guys. It has to be under one of these over here. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Hunters uh, do more damage against bears, wolves, coyotes, mountain lions, deer, vultures, humans. And we can harvest more. Okay, no, we don't need that one. I'm just trying to really figure out which one because I know that if you have a certain amount of coins on you, if you fall, you don't break your legs and stuff as easily. But I really want to just read exactly how many coins. So I don't, so I don't know, never to go under that. I don't know, you guys keep commenting, guys, but my brain shuts off. <laughs> I read it, I memorize it, and I forget it. Okay, uh, that should be done. Forge steel, 50. We should have steel, right? No, I think I used up all my steel. Oh, we do. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, steel, forged iron, we need 25. The forged iron, 25. Mechanical parts. Oh, there's something up top. There is something dangerous up top. Something's getting shocked. I need to probably go check what that is. Okay, uh, image one. Okay, what is that? Garand. Oh, I need the schematic. Oh, that sucks. And I need the rifles, uh, CNC. Let me just see if I can't make the CNC as, uh, so long. Okay, so unfortunately, I need the rifle. Oh, you know, how many of those blue notes do we have? Only two. Okay, so we need to go uh, looting and stuff again, guys. But we're almost, we're so close to being able to say we finally have all the classes. Except the rad class. We, have, oh, we finally have all the classes done. I don't know if the rad class actually counts as one. What I mean by red class, for those of you who don't know, if you go over here, this is a red class, right? It's prereq 1 of 5, so you should get a vending machine or something for completing all of them. But making these, HD hazmat. Look how expensive this is. HD hazmat. You need 40 HD hazmat military fibers, right? 40. Just to make 10, because this gives you 10 at a time. You need 250. So you need a thousand plant fibers just for one of these over here. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really... Uh, the bottle of acid, let me just check. Bottle of acid. We also don't have that. We can always just buy more acid and stuff. I should probably start buying the acid now so that I can continuously just check the vending machines. Because remember, the vending machines reset every day, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to make sure that before they reset, you buy any acid that there might be. Oh, that sounds like... Trouble. That sounds like a lot of trouble. Hello? It's a wandering horde. Okay, uh, oh no, no, don't fall down, don't fall down. I could easily probably go deal with them if I were to fall down. 
But why fall down if you don't have to? Ooh, I'm gonna test this gun. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, wait, what? Did I just do that damage? Or... I need something better, like a... Uh, yeah, I need a scope or something on this thing. This is annoying. I can't aim down the sights like this. I hate iron sights. Well, I can't even see them. Okay, so this might have just been random zombies then, because I, if I can't see them... It means they're not really getting that far, right? Okay, so far it looks like a good gun. I can't lie. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Why couldn't I jump? Probably kill all these zombies. Yeah, come to me, come to me. I just, I'm not a fan of the reload speed. It one-shots most of the normal zombies though, so this gun is, oh crap. Puma bear. And it turns around. Nice. Oh, I almost fell down again. As long as the screamer bear doesn't come and bother me, I wonder if that was a scream horde. Like the bear sensed me screamed and that's from the horde. That makes sense, right? Okay, uh, CNC rifles, now we can put that in there. Now all we have to do is focus on getting ourselves that schematic. Oh no, the sound's bugged again. Wait, is this whole POI just bugged? It's just now and then, look at this. Okay, now all of a sudden the sound's back. Okay, no, no, no. I need to get out of here quickly. Um, Yeah, we need to make the Garand. I just want to see over here. How much plant fiber do we have? Plant fiber that's under resources. None. <laughs> okay, where can I buy? Can I buy plant fibers? I don't think so, right? Because you can't sell them. I don't think you can buy them. I could just go for cacti and stuff, but oh man, it's going to take so much gathering. Okay, come on, come on, come on, up you go, thank you. I just use as many crates as possible and get as many HD notes as possible, and we should be good to go. That bear is in the distance. Okay, so, did I have any quests? No, I didn't. So I should probably go talk to the traders quickly. Oh, the traders are closing now, so I won't be able to accept jobs. At least some I can quickly get in there. I don't know when they close again, I can't remember. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do you have any jobs? Close by, close by, close. Too far away. Um, yeah, let's just clear zombies. Why not? All of these jobs are way too far away. I thought that since I'm in this biome, most of these jobs will be here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Wait, uh, these are level 4, right? Oh, does that mean we don't have any level 4 buildings in this biome? That's sad. Okay, east, business. I want to make sure we don't do exactly the same POIs. That also means we don't have to worry. Not all these jobs are going to be in this biome. So that's actually a win-win. Fetch and clear. Okay, let's go. The trade is going to close in 10 minutes, and then we need to be out of here. That cop's going to explode. Yep. I'm just so glad they can't do damage to the trader. Oh, we need to wait inside. We need a way inside. There's not... Oh, crap. Oh, I just, just made it. Okay, so this screamer bear is definitely... up. Oh, that screamed. Yeah, definitely screamed. I don't think that was good. Did I just take him down fast or not? But yeah, we need a way to get into our base easily because at the moment this just sucks. Oh, oh hello. At least this thing has range as far as I can see. Actually shooting zombies in the distance. It is me doing the damage and not the blade trap, right? No, the blade trap is also damaging them. Yep, that's this one. Okay, I just need to put myself a... Uh, what do you call it? Because I, I I really hate the scope. Not being able to properly see down the uh, down the thing is actually really sucky. Okay, uh, let me just see if the pump jacks are up and running again. Yep. Okay, so after I do this, the sound's gonna be bugged again because we are getting errors. Basically, when we yeah, it says the pump jack not apparent. 
Basically, it says there's a pump jack and I need this pump jack. And then we lost one over here as well. So it seems more and more pump jacks are starting to bug out. I wonder if it's because they're too close to each other that they bug out like this. Right? It, it might be that it's, it, it could be the height. Or it could just be the fact that they just bundled too much together. Like, for example, in uh, earlier alphas, you could actually plant trees right next to each other like this. But the lag was so insane that now you have to be able... I think you can only place them like three blocks apart. On the fourth block, like there has to be a three block gap. Just to reduce the lag. Wait, yeah, let me test my theory. So if I go downstairs, the sound should be bugged again, right? Hello? Another bear. Damn, okay, yeah, he's gonna scream again. Wait, didn't he call any zombies at all just now? Damn. I'm not gonna complain. If he doesn't call any friends, I don't have to waste the ammo on small fry like them. I wanna focus on just getting my quest and stuff. Wait, why did I close this door? I wanna focus on getting all my quests and stuff done. I don't care about the small fry zombies and wasting ammo. Although, we have thousands upon thousands of ammo. Yeah, nice, almost 800 this time. Last time I got unlucky and got only like 400. This time around we got more. Let me just try this. Oh, it's bugged. Yep, it's bugged. So it's definitely to do with the pump jacks. The pump jacks are bugging out my game. So I'm really considering just destroying all the pump jacks and going mining for stuff. But the whole point of the pump jacks is to help you late game so you don't have to go mining and waste time like that. That kind of sucks, right? Okay, so I'm going to fix it now. Don't worry. Just really want to take all this stuff. All this stuff. I want to do all the opening and closing stuff right now, basically. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about all the sound coming back after. The nice thing is because the sound's glitch, you don't hear all of the noises over here. What bothers me, though, is just only certain sounds are bugged. Not all of them. If I had my XP glasses on, it would be even faster crafting than this. That's actually a scary thought. Okay, I need to make sure that we... I don't even have to use multiple... Let me just test this quickly. I want to put on these glasses. I want to grab some sand over here. Uh, there's more there. Okay, what are we going to run out of? Sand, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this. How long is this going to take? Yep, you only need one. There's no point in having this many... Look at this. You close that down. You open back up. What's the point of having multiple of these uh, things if you're just going to... Obviously, the fact that they're so fast, the reason they're so fast is this. So if you take out the drum, for example, it should almost be zero. And when you take out uh, more than that, it should be in the plus again. But the, uh, these are, I think it's unbalanced at the moment because the fact that it allows you to craft that much so fast, it's insane. Yeah, 15k, just like that again. Okay, so we need to go do these quests, um, but I do need to actually first restart because the sounds are bugged. And it might not be bothering you guys at, at the moment, but it's certain sounds, not all sounds, but certain sounds that are bugged. That really annoys after a while. It starts to seriously annoy the, uh, the hell out of you. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Do this. Really go out. Oh, I'm actually thinking of doing a dead is dead. Like only one life. Darkest Falls series. After my current Darkest Falls series. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do well, like insane difficulty. It might just be like warrior or nomad or whatever. But if I die, I die and I have to start all over again. Um, the whole map gets deleted. Obviously, there's no mod for it. The mod gets... Uh, I just... When I die, I log out, delete the save, load up a new save. Um, that might be interesting. Or I could load the same world, but obviously I lost all my progress, my levels, everything. Um, because I don't want to uh, benefit early game. Well, then again, if you die, you keep your game stage and everything. And so, for example, I know a lot of people, they keep their worlds... They just move to a different spot on the map and they start from scratch over there. But why do that to yourself? Because the game's going to get dif more difficult and more difficult since your game stage stays high in Darkest Falls. When you die, it doesn't go down like vanilla. But yeah, I want to do it like a Dead is Dead series. But if I die in that uh, series, I don't want to start from scratch. Or, uh, I don't want to end the series. The series is going to keep going, but I'm just going to restart on day one. 
Uh, let me just see. I need to lock 10 of these. Yep, sounds are back to normal. Now, where do we need to go? Okay, there's a tier 4 clear over there. Wait, what? I'm far, I can't even go any further than this. Oh, there's a tier 4 there. Tier 4. Tier 4. Where's the fourth one? Am I just looking... Oh, there's one over here as well. So we can start with this one and then move all the way down. Or we can start with this one. Move to this one. Go up to that one and then come back to that this one and then head back in. Yeah, so we're just going to go straight for this one over here. It is still nighttime, but by the time we actually get there, it should be daytime again. So it's not too bad. Just do this. Okay, we need to go which direction? That one. Let's go. Okay, I need to be careful not to come across any behemoths and stuff or get stuck on stone as I come across them. As you guys know, we are getting like fire behemoths and radiator behemoths and stuff. Although, I don't even mind those. What I'm more worried about is the demolishers because they're so damn fast. I still get the crap scared out of me when I come across a behemoth, but when I come across an actual demolisher, like the giant one, oh, that scares the hell out of me. Because you can't kill it with a behemoth. You can just stack up against a tree and kill it. With a demolisher, if you accidentally shoot that chest piece, you are dead. <laughs> Even if you go up a tree, the giant ones, the explosion radius is massive. And, okay, the only problem with the fact that we... Okay, so I wonder if... Did I do level 5s? I wonder if I shouldn't... I, 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 after this, after we do these level 4 quests, right? I think we should still uh, get 4 more level 4s. But what I want to actually do is see if we can't get big quests for one. Or what I'm going to do is... As soon as we get level 5s, if they're not in our wasteland town, I'm not going to accept them. So we wait until the next morning and then see if the jobs have changed. Um, and if we don't get any quests, then we just go looting like other alphas, like all the alphas. Just go from house to house, loot everything, get the final stashes. I think as soon as we have uh, all our classes, whoops, and we have all of the... We we'll need to be careful of here. As soon as we have all of our classes and we have all of our town looted, then that's the end of the series, basically. I don't think there's anything else more that we can do then, right? I need to be careful, I need to be careful, I need to be careful. What is this place? Is it the bookstore? Is it the bakery? Okay. I know there's a hole close to the bookstore as well. Wait, which one is it going to be? I need to go behind this. I'm trying to be so careful. Oh, it is the bookstore. Is it? Wait, what? Where am I right now? I need to make sure... Oh, it's not. Okay. Nice. It's a new PI. I was about to say, damn, we have done the bookstore before. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy, doggy, doggy. I should probably just quickly stack on a wall or something and kill these bosses and stuff, right? I need to make sure that we don't take any unnecessary chances as well. Hello, dog. Come straight for me, please. And even from the hip, look at the range on this thing. I don't even have to aim down the sights. The only problem is this thing is loud, so I'm guessing it is going to call some screamers if we're not careful. We need to go to the back. I'm just more worried about like the Undertakers and stuff because they can knock you out. And if they knock you out, that's when the danger comes. Hello, dogs. Okay, yeah, I um, wonder if those dogs will come if I start firing shots over here. Nope. I should probably go kill them anyways, just in case they try and interfere, right? Yeah, let me just quickly go kill these dogs. Oops, jump, 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 jump. There you go. Wait, are those still asleep? Oh, is that a vulture? Oh, let me be careful. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Guys, we ever said this Mossberg sucks. Um, look at this. <laughs> it might not have as many shots as the other shotgun we have, but damn. 
I'm actually really loving this gun so far. Okay, let's just quickly run through this place. I'm literally just gonna kill zombies and go for the final stash. We don't really need anything else. Is that a Wandering Horde or just Feral Sense? I think it's Feral Sense, right? I think if I do a Dead is Dead Warrior series on Darkest Falls, I'm gonna turn Feral Sense off at least. Because the demonic zombies especially, if they hit you through the wall and kill you, I think that's kind of unfair. They need to actually at least see you to be able to vomit at you, not just sense where you are, and then guess and kill you that way. Wait, what? Untouched street lamp. I didn't know that was possible. Wait, the street lamps are lootable. That's new. Okay, anyways, uh, let me just do this. Let me close this down. I think I have looted this place once before. It looks kind of familiar. Yeah, I have. Yeah, now it looks kind of familiar. Oh, okay. Well, uh, at least we're gonna loot it again. We're gonna have some fun. Why not? As long as you don't get titans inside of your eye. I think we are gonna get it to a stage where there's gonna be titans inside, and that's gonna make it really difficult. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hit him when they fall out the roof like that. Boom, bye bye. I should probably use my knife as well. Save some ammo. No other zombies in here, right? It will send us back if there are any other zombies left of here. That's okay. As long as we don't get like behemoths and stuff while we're looting, that would be fine. The, uh, the wandering hordes in Darkest Falls, especially, is insane when it comes to this. Hello, hello. Nice. Okay, um... I didn't bring my wrench with me. I do need more parts like that. Scrap polymers, all those things. We need to actually be able to just wrench them. It's been actually a really long time since I've actually had to wrench. So late game, when I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, I remember this place. Late game, when I really need to start wrenching again. Or uh, when I start restart the game, when I need to wrench again. It's gonna be such a new sensation again. Oh, crap. Hello. I need to actually make sure we have the best armor and stuff on. At this stage, I doubt it. We need to make sure that we're able to just tank shots like that and not worry about, oh no, every shot's gonna kill us. Nice, I killed the zombie behind as well. Close that off, reload quickly. Oh, nice. Apparently, they're going to add the zombie head falling off like that. They're going to add it to the or to all the zombies later on. I think the guy with the yellow shirt is just like a test subject. I wonder if I can do this. Will that block the zombies or are they going to destroy that block so fast? Because it does sound like there's more than a few zombies down there. Let's go up first and then go down. Okay, we came from that side. Okay, we were on the roof, if I'm not mistaken, so we have to go down. Hello. Bye-bye. Nothing behind the stairs. No, no, no. Yeah, these zombies are outside, so take me... Oh, hello. I should probably carry around blocks that are not wood, right? But if I need to block off a door or something, I can actually block off a door or something. At this stage, we only have the wooden blocks in us, so if a zombie tries to get to us, they'll get to us fast. Come on, I need HD schematics. Wait, what's this? Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to... Yeah, I think I'm supposed to jump through there, right? Yeah, the zombies outside, they're not part of this place. They would actually show up on the map, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to keep on going. I look for my zombies. Hello. Hello. Even when shooting right through the glass, obviously glass is just glass. But when shooting right through the glass, I do some serious damage with this gun. Did I face a horde knight in this place? It feels so familiar. Oh wait, hello. Uh, 
But it sounds like there's a ton of zombies upstairs or something. Yeah, I think I faced the Horde Knights in this place. Yeah, the garage is the final stash, right? Yeah, no, no, I know this place. I know it. I was about to say, this place looks so familiar. I actually also went during Horde Night. Because I couldn't see the zombies that well, I went and I made a hole over there. And can you see? Yeah, I dug down over here and we were able to shoot the zombies as they came for us. So is that. Reload this. Look at all those red um, places on the map, guys. But, just with the shotgun. Look, this shotgun's going to be enough. All I have to do is shoot in a straight line and shoot through all the zombies and hit everyone. Look at that. Boom. That's insane. I'm actually a real big fan of the Mossberg now. I think something broke through. I can hear footsteps. Let's do that. If I hear wood breaking, you know it's over there. It still says clear area, so are there going to be zombies spawning in over here? Unless that's a zombie following me right now. I have no idea where the zombies are supposed to be. I still see a clear area, so I definitely missed someone, right? Oh, wow. Okay, two shots and we opened that. Oh, three shots. And we opened it all the way up. Nice. Okay, now where, oh, where are the rest of the zombies? Aren't the dots actually supposed to pop on uh, top of the window of the air? Okay, I think I'm supposed to go outside. Yeah, the outside. Hello. Yeah, this one over here. Look at this dude. Now return to trader. No, it still says clear air. Wait, what? It still says clear areas, so it's not done yet. Let me just at least loot these. Since I can't range them, looting them is the next best, the best thing. Oh, there has to be more zombies up here. This is the only place left. It still says clear areas. What? I am so confused right now, guys. I could have sworn. Oh, wait. There's a zombie over here. Okay, wait. Where is it? Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can actually go through over here as well. And walk on the pipelines. Wait, what? Hello? Oh, there you guys are. I hate when they hide behind stuff like this. Okay, return to trader. Finally. Yeah. I think I'm going to call the episode here. Yeah. Next episode, we are going to go for... Wait, what's that? Oh, I thought it was a loot drop. Oh. Okay, we're going to go for this level 4 clear over here. And see if we can't do... This one and this one. Perhaps all four. All three. We didn't really have enough time this time around. But the shotgun is so amazing. We should be able to clear this fast. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comment some tips or feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Where's UK fun. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.